Hello dear students, welcome back. Today we will learn about phylum Cnidaria. Today we will discuss about phylum Cnidaria. And according to Synth Textbook Board Damshoro, this phylum includes 9000 species. The word Cnidaria has Greek origin. The word, the term Cnidaria has Greek origin, Nide. Nide means stinging sails. So why the phylum is named Nideria? Because they have specialized stinging cells called Nidocytes. And due to the presence of Nidocytes, the phylum is named Nideria. Dear students, this phylum ko jo name diya gya hai Nideria, is phylum ke members me mouth or tentacles ke kareeb specialized stinging cells hote hain nidocytes jisse ye apne predator ko bhi sting karte hain aur prey ko bhi sting karte hain jiski wajah se inko name diya gaya hai nideria ab hum characteristics padhenge phylum nideria ke characters of the members of phylum nideria first character their body cavity they have a central body cavity called cilentron in ki body cavity ko cilentron kaha jata hai jis ki wajah se is phylum ka ek or name bhi hai phylum cilentretra phylum cilentretra due to the presence of cilentron and this cavity is also called gastrovascular cavity which helps in digestion of food and circulation of food now look at the diagram of gastrovascular cavity this is cnidarian known as hydra the diagram showing hydra aur yahan pe dekhiye ye iski central cavity hai isko cilentron bhi kaha jata hai aur is cavity ka another name gastrovascular cavity character number 2 their organization they have tissue organization and they belongs to group u metazoa having tissue organization symmetry the members of phylum cnidaria have radial symmetry it means their body can be cut into two equal halves by more than one imaginary plan character number 4 germ layers dear students is phylum ke jo members hain उनको डायप्लोब्लास्टी का भी कहा जाता है ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ टू जर्मिनल लेयर्स टू जर्म लेयर्स इन देयर एम्ब्रियो आउटर एक्टोडर्म एंड इनर एंडोडर्म एज यू नो दीज लेयर्स विल फॉर्म द आर्गन्स तो इनके एक्टोडर्म से एपिडर्मिस डिराइव किया जाता है और इनके एंडोडर्म से एंडोडर्मिस डिराइव किया जाता है तो दीज आर डायप्लोब्लास्टिक एनिमल्स एंड द बॉडी वॉल इन अडल्ट नाइडेरियन consist of two cell layers the outer layer is called epidermis and epidermis is derived from ectoderm and their inner layer is called endodermis and endodermis is derived from endoderm ab yahan pe dekhiye ye inka outer layer hai epidermis jo ectoderm se derive kiya gaya hai aur ye inka inner layer hai endodermis jo एंडोडर्म से डिराइव किया गया है मगर इन दो लेयर्स के बीच में एक तीसरा लेयर भी होता है दिस इज आउटर लेयर एपिडर्मिस दिस इज इनर लेयर एंडोडर्मिस एंड बिटवीन एपिडर्मिस एंड एंडोडर्मिस देयर इज अ जेली लाइक लेयर नॉन एज मीजोगिलिया नॉन एज मीजोगिलिया नाउ व्हाट इज मीजोगिलिया एपिडर्मिस एंड गेस्ट्रोडर्मिस एंडोडर्मिस का एन अदर नेम गेस्ट्रोडर्मिस भी है epidermis and gastrodermis are separated by jelly like layer called mesoglia dear students is phylum ko jo name diya gaya hai cnidaria wo stinging cells cnidocytes ki wajah se diya gaya hai to ab hum kuch detail mein cnidocytes ke structure ko padhenge and how they are specialized to sting prey or to sting predators 
Cnidarians contain specialized cells known as cnidocytes, stinging cells used to sting prey, used to sting predator, containing arginine. Nidocyte ke andar arginines paaye jate hain and these arginines are called nematocyst stingers. Dono ko hum diagram pe clear karenge. Look at the diagram. This is a cell. This cell is known as Nidocyte. So what are nidocytes? Nidocytes are specialized stinging cells used to sting prey, used to sting predator. Or dekhiye, is nidocyte ke inside a capsular organelle hai. A capsular organelle paya jata hai. Inside nidocyte, there is an organelle called nematocyst. There is an organelle called nematocyst. Now nematocyst with stored thread and barb. Ye nematocyst barb or thread uh, ka bana hua hota hai. To students question puchte hain uh, where does these cell are present? Ye body ke kon se part mein paaye jate hain? So where are the nidocytes present? These cells are present around the mouth and tentacles. अब यहां पे आप इसके अंदर जो आर्गनील है नेमेटोसिस्ट उसका स्ट्रक्चर देखें व्हाट इज द कंपोजिशन ऑफ नेमेटोसिस्ट डियर स्टूडेंट्स नेमेटोसिस्ट कंटेन कॉइल्ड थ्रेड दिस इज कॉइल्ड थ्रेड एंड बियर बार्स दिस शार्पली प्रोजेक्शन इज कॉल्ड बार्ब अब हम फंक्शन पढ़ेंगे नेमेटोसिस्ट का फंक्शन क्या है हाउ दे स्टिंग देयर प्रे with the help of nematocyst. Dear students, अब यहां पर देखें यह जो cell है nidocyte, उस पर आपको एक projection नजर आएगा Touch sensitive hair like projection, and this projection is a trigger. This trigger is known as nidocyl. जैसे ही इनका prey या इनका predator इस nidocyl को टच करेगा द निमेटोसिस्ट हैज बिन फायर्ड उस पर निमेटोसिस्ट फायर कर दिया जाएगा उस पर निमेटोसिस्ट फायर कर दिया जाएगा वेन द नाइडोसिल इज टचड वेन टचड द सेल्स आर नोन टू फायर दिस क्वाइल्ड थ्रेड टू द प्रीडेटर और प्रे जब ये निमेटोसिस्ट डिस्चार्ज हो जाएगा फायर हो जाएगा या प्रीडेटर पे या प्रे पे द बार्प इज यूज to penetrate the flesh of the prey or predator to penetrate the flesh of prey or predator to prey pre pe bhi attack karte hain predator bhi attack karte hain kisse barb se aur ye thread kya karta hai this thread releases toxin into the target so that the prey is paralyzed to dear students jaisa aapne dekha ki ye jab nematocyst fire karte hain तो जो थ्रेड है वो टॉक्सिन रिलीज करता है जिससे प्रे पेरालाइज हो जाता है एंड बाप इज यूज टू पेनीटेट द फ्लैश ऑफ द प्रे तो हम इन निमेटोसिस्ट को पढ़ाते हैं ऑर्गन ऑफ ऑफेंस एंड डिफेंस अब यहां पे पढ़िएगा व्हाट इज फंक्शन ऑफ निमेटोसिस्ट निमेटोसिस्ट आर ऑर्गन ऑफ ऑफेंस एंड डिफेंस ऑफेंस अटैक करना और डिफेंस खुद को बचाना नंबर सेवन नाइडेरियन नर्वस सिस्टम डियर स्टूडेंट्स द नर्वस सिस्टम इज सिंपल एंड नॉन एज डिफ्यूज नर्वस सिस्टम नॉन एज डिफ्यूज नर्वस सिस्टम आप हाइड्रा की डायग्राम देखें बहुत सारे न्यूरॉन आपको हाइड्रा की बॉडी में डिफ्यूज फॉर्म में नजर आएंगे ये यू सी मेनी न्यूरॉन्स इन डिफ्यूज नेटवर्क डिफ्यूज नेटवर्क ऑफ न्यूरॉन्स डिफ्यूज नेटवर्क ऑफ न्यूरॉन्स इन डिफ्यूज सिस्टम नर्व सेल्स मीन्स न्यूरॉन्स आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड थ्रू आउट द ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड देयर इज नो ब्रेन देयर इज नो सेंट्रल कमांड इनके पास सी एन एस सेंट्रल सिस्टम सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम नहीं होता इनके पास डी एन एस डिफ्यूज नर्वस सिस्टम होता है Now nutrition of nidaria these are carnivorous means meat eaters and nutrition is holozoic holo means complete zoa means animal complete animal like nutrition ingestive nutrition 
Now respiration and excretion in nidaria. Dear students, in this phylum, phylum nidaria, the respiration and excretion takes place through general body surface. And remember, they are ammonotelic in excretion. Ammonotelic means the animals which excrete ammonia. The animals which excrete ammonia. Habitat is a place of living. Where do the uh, nidarians are found? Mostly marine. They are found in seawater. And few are found in freshwater. They are called freshwater nidarians. Dear students, now we phylum nidaria ke members ki reproduction padenge. Alternation of generation. In ki life cycle mein do forms uh, paaye jate hain. Ek polyp stage aur dusra medusa stage. Ek asexual reproduction karta hai aur dusra sexual. Aur is phenomena ko kehte hain alternation of generation. Two generations alternate each other. Nidarians all have a life cycle of how many forms? Two forms. Dekhi ab wo do form kon se hain. One is attached, attached to the substratum. And this attached form is called polyp stage. And the second stage is free swimming, jellyfish like stage. And that is called medusa stage. Dear students, this is polyp stage. This is uh, attached stage. Polyp diploid stage, first generation. And how do they reproduce? Yaad rakhiyega, polyps reproduce asexually by budding. Bud is an outgrowth. They reproduce asexually by budding. And this is their second stage in life cycle. Jellyfish like stage. This stage, dear students, is called Medusa stage. This stage is also diploid, second generation. And how it reproduce? Medusa usually reproduce sexually by producing gametes, sperm and egg. Dear students, just like you have seen, that in their life cycle, there are two generations. One is the polyp stage, and the other is the medusa stage. So, these two generations are the two generations diploid. In this life cycle, in which two generations are diploid and gametic meiosis, we call it diploid. Diplontic life cycle. In Nidaria, the life cycle is diplontic life cycle in which both the generations are diploid and there is gametic meiosis. Means sperm and eggs are produced via meiosis. So, now we will study life cycle in detail. Dear students, this is their first generation and their first generation is polyp. Polyp, which is diploid stage. And how it reproduced? Dear students, polyp reproduces asexually by budding. Yahan pe dekhiye, budding ke through ek, ye number ek, ye number do. Aapko do medusa form hote huye nazar aayenge, jo ke size mein bohut simal hote hain. One, two, one, two. Tiny medusa body forms. Ye budding mein arise hote hain polyp ki body se. Uske baad kya hooga? These medusae grow, size mein budhenge and bud off separate ho jayenge parent ki body se and bud off from the parental tissue to ye dono tiny medusa parental polyp ki body se separate ho jayenge one develops into male medusa and second develops into female medusa yaad rakhiye ga a medusa may be male medusa or female medusa or dear student ye second generation be deployed this is male medusa this is female medusa and remember this stage is also deployed medusa 2 and deployed second generation dono generations deployed hain ab gametic meiosis hoga gametic meiosis now male in, in the body of male medusa meiosis occur to produce sperms that is why the sperm is haploid meiosis may produce hua gametic meiosis and this is female medusa in the body of female medusa, meiosis occur to produce egg. Egg is also haploid. So, this sperm or egg water may release kar diye jate hain for the purpose of fertilization. Now, the sperm and egg fuse to form zygote. This process is called fertilization. This is external fertilization taking place in water. And the zygote is two and diploid. Uske baad, ye zygote ek larva mein Tabdeel ho jayega, develop ho jayega, planula larva. 
जिसकी बॉडी पे काफी आपको सीलिया नजर आते हैं दिस इज प्लेन्यूला लार्वा अ प्लेन्यूला लार्वा व्हिच इज कवर्ड विथ सीलिया एंड रिमेंबर द प्लेन्यूला लार्वा इज आल्सो डिप्लोइड अब ये मेटामॉर्फोसिस में आएगा दिस प्लेन्यूला लार्वा अंडरगो मेटामॉर्फोसिस a change in shape a change in form is called metamorphosis and again develops into a polyp stage ab ye jo humne complete life cycle padha cnidarians ka dear students ko kehte hain diplontic life cycle in cnidaria the life cycle is called diplontic life cycle in which both the generations are diploid and there is gametic meiosis aur dear students sabse last mein hum फाइलम नाइडेरिया की क्लासिफिकेशन पढ़ेंगे क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फाइलम नाइडेरिया देर आर फॉलोइंग थ्री क्लासेस बेस्ड ऑन डोमिनेंट फेज लॉन्ग लिव्ड फेज इज कॉल्ड डोमिनेंट फेज एंड शॉर्ट लिव्ड फेज इज कॉल्ड रिड्यूस्ड फेज तो पहला जो क्लास है उसका नेम है क्लास हाइड्रोजुआ क्लास वन क्लास हाइड्रोजुआ हियर द मीजोगिलिया जेरी लाइक लेयर इज नॉन सेल्यूलर विदाउट सेल्स in this class the polyp phase is dominant means long lived and medusa phase is reduced means short lived and what is the example of this class hydra and this is the diagram showing hydra class 1 hydrozoa example hydra now class 2 dear student the second class is class cyphozoa cyphozoa here the mesogilia is cellular having cells which cells muscle cells and nerve cells and in this class the medusa stage is dominant means long lived and polyp phase is reduced short lived now the example of this class is arelia known as jellyfish and this is the diagram showing jellyfish class 2 cyphozoa example arelia jellyfish and in the last third class class number 3 class anthozoa mesogilia is fibrous containing collagen fibers collagenous fibers polyp form is dominant but medusa stage is absent in this class dear students is class ke jo examples hain wo corals or sea anemone and this is the diagram showing sea anemone diagram showing sea anemone so dear students today we have discussed another phylum phylum cnidaria thank you dear students wish you all of the best